Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a more efficient and better credit farm. 72,000 per chest run. Um, actually, 77,000 if you pick up the other chest too. But for the most part, we're going for the 70,000 one. And you can also buy all the ships in New Atlantis for free. And I'll show you that as well. But before we get into it, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. Now, what I would advise with this is to have a power boost pack perk on your power pack you can get this from outlands which is also here in the commercial district and if you don't have this specific one you just replenish by waiting 48 hours go back in until you find a power boost pack or you can find them pretty much anywhere so if you get one of these with power boost pack no matter what rarity just just keep it because it's very useful what it does is it basically makes you jump really really high and use the full boost i have broken a limb going down here because i wasn't very careful but i'll try and be more careful for you guys we're going to run this way all the way over to this corner of the map, past Outlands. This is where Outlands is. Past Galbank. One of the very first places I visited when I came into this game because it gave me the Bounty Hunter quest. And then we're going to get up onto this building. Now this tree here is very useful for getting up and down onto things. Now the power pack, but the power boost pack makes this a lot easier. But you can do it with the normal boost pack if you have a better boost pack training perk rank, I believe. And then we do just go wee all the way up here. Now we're going to go over to this here. And we're going to walk through it because it doesn't exist um, like that. We're going to fall down, turn around. And now we are out of the map. Now the previous glitch for this would be you have to jump all the way down basically into those areas down there. And then swim through the air to get back up. And it was just long winded. Now we're going to head over here. It's a little bit of a run. Um, so hopefully you got some, some good oxygen on you. And we are going to go and jump down this little crevice area here. Now, it's quite a long drop, so you do have to make sure that you boost at the bottom. But it's fairly, fairly straightforward for the most part. Okay, we're just going to go and jump. Boost a little bit. And we're going to head all the way down to here. Try not to die. Just keep your boost going. Little boosts here and there until we get to the bottom. Now, the first chest you can pick up is this one over here. As far as I know, it doesn't have credits in, it just has T and stuff. But this is the second chest that you may want to pick up. You might even want to do a few runs of just this without the... Just, just for like the iron and stuff that's in here. This chest has a lot of things. We've got the credit, but then you've also got a whole bunch of ammo, which doesn't give you any extra weight. So you might as well just take them on the way. Then we've got med packs and digi picks, and then a whole bunch of other things, as you can see. Resource-wise, you got... Aluminium, copper, lead, neon, anything you need, you'll probably find it here. I'm just not going to do it because of the weight. We're going to go ahead towards the spaceport chest, which it does have the 72,000 in. It's the ship technician's um, shop chest, basically. We are going to go ahead over here. At this point, I am going to just remember, because I'll forget, to change my backpack to my other one so I don't go flying through the floor back into the real world when I try to get up to this chest. We're going to head this way underneath this walkway and you can see the chest is right there i don't know why but whenever i film these things it's always nighttime in the world all right we're gonna very carefully jump back up here because if you go too high you go through the floor and as you can see this chest has 72,000. now if you want to be able to get all the ships there's a way you can just jump here there's like a part you can see through the floor it's very very sh hard to get to and this is where I accidentally went back through the floor, but... Okay. No, I did it again! So if you jump, aim at this guy and talk to him, you'll kind of half clip through and you can talk to him and fall back through. Right, luckily, I had one of my old recorded footages of this because for some reason I can't get it working today. But if you look at where I'm jumping and how like I'm not jumping fully, like breaking my head through the floor and talking to the technician at the same time, you can then see that you can go in and buy any ship that you want and then pick up the credits again, which you'll be seeing on screen right now. And this is one hell of a credit farm. So I suggest that in case this gets patched, which I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if it did, all they really realistically had to do would put like a, a lock on it that can't be opened by Digilux. And then nobody would be able to get in there to get the money. So make sure you're doing this right now as much as possible to get as many credits as you possibly can.
But right now you need to reset those chests. So we are going to go to Venus, which is in the Sol system. This is a bit of the a bit of way out the way to do this thing, but it's actually very helpful because each chest has a kind of universal time that it goes by before it gets replenished. Now, for some reason, it seems like the ship technician ones take 800 hours of universal time to get back to being replenished and having money in it and all the resources and stuff. On Venus, time works differently. For every hour that you wait here, it waits 100 hours in the universal time. So you're just going to want to run onto your ship and wait for eight hours. And even though it's a, like a bit of a wait to sit around and doing this, the other ones, it was 48 hours to replenish a chest. So this actually works probably a little bit quicker, even with all the flying. And it's definitely going to get you more money. I feel like you could probably get between 800k to a million a, an hour if you were really efficient and really knew what you were doing. I've only ran this a couple of times, so I keep making mistakes. Right, and now we're back here. You can go over to this chest and see that all the ammo and stuff is back Boink. we got the credits and all of that lovely ammo which obviously is very helpful in a game like this we get some more med packs and digipix as well why not even though i don't, I don't really need the digipix let's go get this ship port one and try to do the little glitch for you and there we go, 72,000 credits. Now, if you just want the credits, you can just keep repeating this. But if you do want to try and buy the ships, I've just done it again. I didn't even mean to jump. Oh, for God's sake. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.